Well, guys, Arrow did it. They brought back the awesomeness. This episode was all over the place. It starts off with Thea going on to her deathbed and it being just a dramatic episode from the get-go. And then we get to the point where, uh, why can't I remember his name? Uh, Oliver's friend from China, who uh, is now a League member, He's just signaling Oliver on a building, and Oliver comes up and knocks him down, saying, Did you do this? Did you do this? And the entire time, I'm just thinking, This is about to get real. I'm surprised he's not trying to kill someone. Then, oh, I keep trying to remember his name. But then he tells Oliver about the Lazarus Pit. Now, this is one of the key points of Ra's al Ghul. He always has a Lazarus Pit, except for in the Dark Knight trilogy. That's really the only time I haven't seen or heard of the Lazarus Pit mentioned in anything having to do with Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul or whatever. But, uh, guys, just altogether crazy. It was a good episode. So, we got them taking Thea to the Lazarus Pit, and when she comes out, she is going nuts, she's going crazy, she's attacking everyone. And, uh, Merlin the entire way, I mean, you really feel like he's actually kind of suffering through this, like he actually does feel really pain and responsible, he feels so much pain and responsibility for what's happened to Thea, and you really see it. I mean, he truly regrets what he did. At least, I think he does. I mean, that's kind of the way they're sort of playing it. But, guys, it's it's just amazing to see all the reactions from all the, all the other characters. Then we got the stuff with, uh, with Ray and Felicity. And he automatically is just like, we're done, aren't we? He says, go, go get Oliver. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, that that can't be easy. I mean, just to say, you know what, you're in love with this guy. Go to him. I'll be okay. I mean, that's tough on any guy to say. So I got to give the, I got to give Ray props for that. That's being a real man. He didn't, he didn't whine or complain about it. He manned up and I'm giving him points for that one. But we didn't see him for the rest of the episode. I think they were really trying to keep this focus on Oliver's situation and all that. <clears throat> And Diggle really, uh, man, it's going to drive me crazy. I knew his name like five minutes ago. But he keeps telling this guy, you know, would your son be as proud of you now if he knew what you had become? And I'm like, yeah, that, that would, that's classic guilt trip. And it sometimes works, but, you know, in real life it doesn't really work that often. But then we see the whole Felicity confronting Raish after the whole Thea's been brought back to life. And it turns out she doesn't remember much at first, but she does recover and regain the rest of her memory throughout the rest of the episode. Whereas uh, Felicity, she confronts Raish, and you see Raish's really human side with him explaining what happened when his family died. Before he was even Ra's al Ghul. And you kind of feel bad for him. Because he never got to say goodbye to them. And really that is an important part of life. If you don't get to say goodbye. Then you know it really does tear you apart sometimes. But uh, it, it was just great. They played out Ra's backstory a little bit. And it did very well. And... He told Felicity to go to Oliver and confess everything she did. And Oliver, my man! <laughs> he got it on. Okay, so it's the only time I'm going to do it. But, I mean, they really played it really well. So, and then Felicity drugs him, gets him knocked down. I'm like, what? I'm not surprised, but what? And they try to sneak him out through the catacombs, and, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm doing this a lot, trying to remember his name. I have a name, but I know it's wrong. Uh, but, 
They go through the catacombs and Oliver wakes up just in the nick of time to say, Stand down, any of you so much as touch a hair on any of their heads, you're toast. That includes you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. So, guys, <laughs> he really took charge of that whole being the heir of Ra's al Ghul, head of the demon. I mean, guys, it's pretty crazy. And it ends the episode with everyone leaving, him saying his goodbyes to everyone, Thea regaining all of her memories, except for what happened during the whole, you know, incident with the Lazarus Pit and everything else, so... Uh, and everyone's just kind of broken up about it, and we see the full initiation, Oliver Queen is no more, it's just the arrow, and, uh, the flashbacks were pretty good, uh, you, you kind of see why this guy is a League of Assassin member, and, you know, we kind of already saw this coming, and it's like, yeah, I held my son in my arms while he was dying, I'm like, Really? None of us are surprised by this. I mean, we haven't seen the kid. We've seen both the wife and the mother and the father, but... Hello? We haven't seen the kid except in the flashbacks. I mean, they would obviously still be together if he was still alive. It, it's, it's just kind of obvious, guys. I mean, that's the nitpick that I'm going to give to the... Uh, to the writers because everyone saw this coming. If the wife wasn't dead, then the child was. We all saw it coming. So, yeah. And it ends off the episode with them putting the uh, the arrow, burning it onto the back of Oliver. And I'm just like, that's the arrow from the opening, isn't it? And then it shows a little arrow head from the opening. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's it. There's a there's an Easter egg. <laughs> so the way this episode ended, very good. I'm going to give it a 9.0 out of 10. Given it as just plain old nine, it was a really good episode. It was really interesting. The action was okay, even though we didn't see a lot of it. There was I don't think there was even a little bit of comedy in this episode. No, I, I don't think I cracked a smile regarding comedy, even once. So, but yeah, altogether a good episode. I feel like maybe there were some points in the episode where it didn't kind of make sense sometimes, but no, that's just me. So, and the preview we got for the next episode, guys. We see that Oliver is going through his training to become Ra's al Ghul, and... He wants Oliver to start killing again, and he wants him to kill Diggle. What? No. Diggle no die. If Diggle die, me come after you. And you don't want me come after you. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Working on my crazy face. How'd it go? Anyway, so I'm excited for next week's episode. Like this week's episode. So, that's pretty much it for the review, guys. Uh, now, there's another show coming out this Friday. I think it's called The Messengers. I'm going to take a look at that, and I'll let you guys know what I think of the episode. I'm going to be doing that. I think it's on Friday. So, anyway, yeah. Leave a comment below. What did you think of the episode and the review? Be sure to follow me on Facebook. It's in the description below. As well as hitting the like button, smashing the subscribe button, shares with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, people, have an awesome day. Peace out. And just keep the arrow hype going. See you guys.